Alright, hey guys, welcome back to our brand new video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, create a run and walk GUI. Um, now, let's just start. Now, I know I've been focusing on some GUIs, uh, last video and this video. I feel like this is kind of like the future of Roblox games now, so, yeah. Um, now, it's pretty simple. Uh, scripts are, the script is like one script, one local script, and it's like so small. Uh, literally two lines, or three, I think, something, it was something like that. So yeah, let's get started. Now, first thing what you want to do is obviously for GUI, we always go to the starter GUI and, and insert a screen GUI. Now you can name this. I'm not going to because there's no point really. It's, it's, if you want to be organized, yeah, you can. I mean, if you have like a big game, I'd recommend be organized, name and stuff, so you don't you know like what it is. For this tutorial, I mean, if you're doing like a test, you don't really need to because there's only one thing. So um, now what I'm gonna do is what you want to do is insert a frame. And just resize it to like um, now. I recommend if you're gonna because obviously you're gonna be using this for your game. Uh, so I'm gonna go with the perspectives if I was making a game. So what you want to do is in properties, go to you want to change the size to one comma zero comma one comma zero. It's on the screen, and that should cover the whole screen. Now I know you're probably thinking like, wait, why can I not? Uh, why can't I just go like this and move it around, right? The problem with that is you can do that, but the problem is if there's any mobile users, for them this could be a different thing. Like, it, it's, it, the GUI is going to be messed up for them. So, um, yeah, I'd recommend it go like this because it automatically like, is best for all of them. 1, 0, 1, 0. It's pretty easy to memorize, so, yeah. And then after this, what you want to do is actually change, make it transparent, so change this to 1. And yeah, then what you want to do is inside here you want to insert a text, not text, but a text button. Uh, there we go. Um, now, okay, now I know I forgot what I was gonna, what these are GUIs are used for. Now these are mostly recommended for mobile users if there's mobile users in your game, because I don't think you can sprint uh, on mobile. I mean, I know on PC you can do the shift key or some other key, but in mobile, so you can click on this and they can. Uh, move around so yeah so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make this uh what you want to do is make like two uh buttons so let's just change the color and stuff so the font source and bold uh, let's change this to this there we go anyway i'm gonna change the thing to run this is gonna be the run script uh they're both the same basically so it doesn't matter which one you're doing first um and let's turn this to white there we go. Alright, now we've got our first GUI. Actually, I'm going to uh, border pixel. There we go. Alright, now we've got our first uh, GUI. What you want to do next is uh, insert a local script. Now I'm going to name this the run. There we go. So inside this local script, pretty easy script. You want to go script dot parent dot mouse button one click connect. And then you want to do function, and then inside you want to add two more brackets, and then do speed with a capital S. And the last one you want to do game dot players dot player added. Uh, no, sorry, it's not player. Added, local player, local player dot character. That's right, right there. Nope. Okay. There you go. And then you want to do humanoid, and then a uh, walk speed. So I know I'm writing walk speed. You can do actually, yeah, we can do we can do walk speed, and then is equal to 30. Uh, no, let's do uh, 32, 30, 20, 22. Let's go with 22. Um, yeah. So now this is gonna be the sprint one. Now what you want to do next is just a simple, just duplicate the text button, right? And just uh, change the text and the name. So this can be the walk. So this is walk. And you want to change the text to walk. And then what you want to do in your local script, change the 22 to 16 because that's what our default uh, walk thing is. Oh yeah, also that's pretty stupid of me there. Uh, there we go, move that there. And you're basically done. Um, now what you want to do is test it out or play your game or just publish it. If you trust yourself for some reason, like if you think it's working, you publish it. I recommend testing it so it's better. So as you can see, I'm gonna close this off. So yeah, as you can see, guys, I am uh, walking normally. And as soon as I click on the run, my speed increases. 
Yeah, no, okay, it's not a really big difference. It kind it, it's changing. It doesn't show on the my screen because all right, this is kind of yeah. I, I think I'm gonna have to up my graphics or something. Yeah, but it is changing. It doesn't not it's not showing for some reason. If you look at the base, but I am going a little faster. So. Yeah, I don't know why it's not working right now. So it's, I mean, it's working. It just doesn't show it. Um, OBS Studio is messing up again. Messing up. So yeah, basically that's how to create a um, run, run and walk in GUI. I think you, I guess you could call it that. I mean, yeah, I saw I saw him in the game, and I thought why not make a video like this? So I searched it up, and I found a little easy script. And decided to make a video on it. So yeah, be sure you guys like and subscribe. We are 104 subscribers, guys. Um, let's try to hit 100 subscribers. 110, not 100. 110 subscribers by the end of February. Uh, we got how many days? How many days is that? Um, by the time I'm recording, this is the 24th. I don't know when you guys are gonna see. I'm probably on the 24th, obviously. Uh, we got 20. So we got four days, guys. Let's try to hit 10. Let's try to hit. Wait, we're at 104. So yeah. Let's try to hit six subscribers in four days, guys. So I'm pretty sure we can do that. Um, yeah, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.